Hey, second grade mathematicians, it's Miss L. Welcome to lesson six of Eureka Math. Today, through our learning, we will be able to decompose or break apart arrays into rows and columns, and we will be able to relate that to repeated addition. So let's go ahead and get started. Remember from our previous lessons, we have learned that there are different ways that we can show equal groups. So the first way is through a picture, and we put them into groups of equal objects. We also learned how we can use a tape diagram, again, using pictures or just using the numbers. And then we can write repeated addition equations to match um, the picture or tape diagram to represent our equal groups. We have also learned that there is another way that we can show equal groups, and that is by using arrays or arranging objects into rows and columns. So take a look at this picture here. You can see that rows are horizontal, meaning they go from left to right. Columns are vertical, meaning they go from top to bottom. So this is a row, whereas this is a column. So let's practice real quick. Look at this array. How many rows do you see? And how many columns do you see? Excellent. There's one, two, three, four rows, and one, two, three, four, five columns. Again, remember, rows go left to right or horizontal. Columns go up and down or top to bottom. Uh, meaning they're vertical. So let's look at this array. How many rows do you see? Take a second, count them up. And are the rows equal? Think in your brain. Yes, the rows are equal because there's the same number of apples in each row. So let's call each row a group for now. So how many equal groups are there? Correct, there are four. I'm gonna separate each group or row so that we can see them clearly. And as I do, we can count the apples. So in our first row, there's one, two, three, four, five apples. In our second row, there's one, two, three, four, five more apples. In our third row, one, two, three, four, five apples. And in our fourth row, one, two, three, four, five apples. So to count that up, five plus five is 10, 10 plus five is 15, and 15 plus five is 20. So our repeated addition equation for this problem is five plus five plus five plus five is 20. Notice how that's a lot like our skip counting. So if you've been practicing your skip counting, this will really help you. So there are four add-ins, one, two, three, four, to match the one, two, three, four equal groups. There are four fives, which makes 20. All right, let's now look at how many columns are in the same array. One column of four, two columns of four, three columns of four, four columns of four, and five columns of four. You can see over here, I've written a repeated addition equation to match that. In each column, remember going up and down, there are four apples. So we have five columns represented by these five add-ins and four apples in each column. So four plus four is eight, eight plus four is 12, 12 plus four is 16, and 16 plus four is 20.
So as you can see, whether we split it into rows or columns, we have the same number. We have 20 apples in this array. It does not matter if you split it into rows or columns, you're going to have the same total number of objects. What about if we add a column to this array? Then how many apples would there be in all? Remember, we had 20 because we had four rows of five or five columns of four. So if we're adding another column, how many apples would there be then? There's our added column. Remember, one, two, three, four, five columns of four apples to begin with is 20. But with our added column, a sixth column of four apples, we now have 24. So our original array had 20 apples, but we added another column, this column right here, which had four apples. So 20 plus four is 24. Good. Let's look at another problem. I want you to picture this array in your brain before I show it to you. Picture an array that has three rows, with six apples in each row. Take a second, picture that in your brain. Got it in your brain? If you pictured an array that looks like this, good job to you. So there are three rows, one, two, three, and there are six apples in each row. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I accidentally almost spoiled it. I hit my next button too quick. But what repeated addition equation would match this array? Three rows with six apples in each row. If you said six plus six plus six equals 18, you would be correct. So we have one row of six plus another row of six is 12 plus a third row of six, 12 plus six is 18. Excellent. So there are three rows of six apples, or we can say there are three sixes. Oh, I'm blocking my little graphic I made for you. So three rows of six objects or three sixes. Excellent. In the same array, how many columns are there? Remember, rows go from left to right, they're horizontal. Columns go from top to bottom, they are vertical. How many columns are in this array? You're right, there are six columns. One, two, three, four, five, six. So the repeated addition equation for this one would be three plus three plus three plus three plus three plus three is again 18. This time we're looking at columns. So we have six columns and there are three apples in each column. So we have to have six groups of three. So three rows of six and six columns of three. The total in the array does not change, but it does change the repeated addition equation depending on if they're asking you for rows or columns. So in your work today, you're gonna to wanna to pay really close attention with the array. They're gonna ask you about rows or columns, okay? If we were to add another column of three, how many objects would there be? Remember, we had 18 before because we had six columns of three. If we add one more column of three, how many objects would there be? So this was our repeated addition equation before we had 18. If we add another column of three, 
we add three more to 18 and that makes 21. So we can even count by threes to skip count just to, to make sure. Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, and 21. Again, that's where that skip counting practice comes really in handy, you guys, so make sure that you're um, practicing that. Otherwise, you could have added another three to this repeated addition equation. So you would have seven columns of three, and then that would also give you 21. Good. Let's practice now. How many rows are in this array? Remember, rows are horizontal. If you said four, you're correct. One, two, three, four. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these circles down here and I am going to put them around each row. One, two, three, and four. So I have four rows. How many apples are in each row? Look at one of the rows. One, two, three. So I have four rows of three. How many does that make in all? We can count them up individually or we can skip count. We have three, six, nine, 12. So four rows of three is 12. How would I write that as a repeated addition equation? So I need to look at my four rows, that's represented by the four add-ends, and how many are in each row. I have three in each row. So three plus three plus three plus three. And again, because I can look at the array or I can use skip counting, I know that three plus three is six, six plus three is nine, and nine plus three is, you got it. 12. Good. So on your work today, they're going to ask you to either split up into rows or columns and to figure out how many are there in the total um, of the array. Let's look at one more practice problem here. We're going to add another row to this array. So then we're going to find out how many apples are in the array after we add that row. So down here, I've got my extra apples. Remember, rows go left to right or horizontal. So I'm going to add one, two, three, because the rows go this way. So I have to add another one. So I have one, two, three, four, five rows. And there are three apples in each row. So I have three, six, nine, 12, and 15. Again, that skip counting comes in really handy because you could count them one by one, but that takes a really long time. So we like to group our objects by rows and skip count them. This is another thing that you may be asked to do on your work today. So your job now is to go back to the math Google Classroom, click on classwork and find the assignment for today. This would be lesson six. Make sure that you're clicking submit when you are um, finished, otherwise the work won't get handed in to us. I wanna take a look at the worksheet just real quick so that you guys know what to do. So this is module six, lesson six, virtual work. The first question says, Complete each missing part describing each array. So for part A, they want you to circle rows. So you're gonna use these circles and put them around the rows. So then five rows of blank equals blank. You're gonna put your answers in for each blue square here. Five rows of blank equals blank. And what is the repeated addition equation that matches? For part B, you are going to circle columns. Remember, columns go up and down. So there's a little hint because the circle is tall. For part C, same thing, you're gonna circle rows. 
and part D, you're going to circle columns. 